five minutes, okay. Yes. Hi, Candace. how are you? Hi, Polly, I'm doing well, how are you? Good, thanks. So good to chat with you again. I know, I know, it's always so much fun. You too, thank you so much. So what is the difference between dry skin and dehydrated skin, and how can we tell if our skin is properly hydrated? Well, in all the years that I've been a beauty editor for over 15 years, the most common conf uh, point of confusion is, do I have dry skin or dehydrated skin, and what's the difference? Are they the same thing? They're not. Um, dry skin has to do with how much oil you have in your skin, and that's something that's genetic. And dehydrated skin has to do with the level of moisture or water in your skin, and that's the condition of your skin. So um, it's really important to know the difference and to tell. It's not just as easy as, oh, let me look in the mirror or touch my skin, um, you know, unless you go to a dermatologist or something, you sometimes don't know and then you're trying all these different products and you don't know what will work and they're not working and you can't figure it out. I, for example, have oily skin and that's just something I'm born with. My skin tends to look a little bit greasy by the middle of the day, but it's dehydrated because you know, maybe I don't drink enough water, I don't use the right products and the right combination and when I do get that combo right and I have my regimen down, my skin, you know, looks and feels so much better and it's healthier. So um, the first is find out how dehydrated your skin actually is to see what it needs. And um, Kiehl's is one of my favorite brands. I'm sure you love it as well. Kiehl's since 1851. It's been around, you know, for forever and it still has these cult products that people love. But the brand is really into the health of the skin and the science and the education. So they just started using it all their counters around the country and at all their freestanding stores, this um, dehydration analyzing tool. And you can just walk in, you don't need an appointment, and they'll give you a complimentary consultation and they'll hold this cool tool up to your skin and in a flash it will tell you exactly how de what your level of dehydration is and then you don't have to guess and like hope and pray that when you use this cream or that serum that you'll see magical results. So once you get that, and that's incredible because I don't know where else you can get anything like that, then you can pick out your regimen. But regardless of which products you use, you really need to use um, the same steps and people get confused by that too. Like, why do I need a serum if I'm using a face cream? So I'll tell you why. The first is use a cleanser. I like to use something mild. I love Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser, but that's a given. You need to clean your skin and you just need to something that will be effective and not leave a lot of residue. And then use a toner, which is not to be confused with an astringent, which are those like really, those things that would sting and you know smell really strong, um, that had lots of alcohol to dry out your skin. That's not the case here. Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner is actually hydrating and doesn't have any alcohol. And next, follow it up with a serum. I love really potent liquid ingredients. Those are great for these serum formulas because they drench the skin and they sink in. I love the Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. It sinks right into the skin and then you can follow it up with your cream later. But first, um, put your eye cream on. And people neglect that area, but the under eye area and also the lid and up to the eyebrows doesn't have sebaceous glands. You don't produce oil, so it's naturally a dry area no matter what your skin type and condition. So it's important to always use a daily eye treatment. I love this one from Kiehl's. It has avocado oil. It's so easy to use. I keep mine in the fridge so that in the morning it can help depuff as well with the coolness. And then um, over that serum all over your face, I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream because Again, it's a very great, potent moisturizer, but very lightweight, because I do not want to feel like I'm basting a turkey when I add all these layers on. And when you use these formulas, they don't have ingredients that are known as occlusive barriers. So it's not gonna feel like thick stuff sitting on your skin. These are you know, really lightweight formulas that sink in, and they're not just gonna sit on top, so when you wear your makeup, finally, it won't look muddy you know, an hour later from all this stuff. Um, and no matter what, you always need to use an SPF. So I love the Kiehl Superfluid UV Defense SPF 50. Um, it's great for men or women. My husband and I both use it and it's broad spectrum. And do the same exact regimen at night, but swap out the SPF because you're not, you know, laying under the star, you know, under the sun at night. Um, and add something that will treat and repair your skin. Because even if you've used a wonderful, effective skincare regimen, you always wanna make sure you have that layer of insurance and that layer of extra boost. Um, and the Midnight Recovery Concentrate 
flies off the shelves. It's one of Kiehl's most popular top selling products and with good reason because it really does give you beauty sleep. I mean, think about it. You don't have to do anything. You just put it on and go to sleep and it'll do the work for you. And you can wake up feeling refreshed, looking great. You can, Candice, I mean, you can press that snooze button a few times and not have to think about putting on all that foundation because you can say, I did wake up like this. You know, as someone with dry skin that's acne prone, it can be really difficult. It is a real pain. Do you have any advice? I do. Um, you know, you should definitely get your dehydration, you know, your, your level of hydration checked out at Akil's. I'm sure you have one near you. Once you get that, then you can figure out, okay, now I have the right regimen. I'm doing the right steps. I'm going to stick to the routine for you know two to four weeks and see the difference. And then that can be your sort of like starting out place. And I'm sure that some of the acne will clear up because I have the same situation and my skin will just you know rebel against the incorrect regimen. And so once I get the right thing down, then I can see how my skin acts when it's being treated nicely. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> almost like I'm abusing my skin and like you know, it's not fair, so it kind of acts up. It does it, it gets confused. So yeah, that's why, I mean, if you do nothing else, then just get, get to a Kiehl's counter or store for this um, dehydration tool. And what diet and lifestyle changes offer the most impact for overall skin health? Water, 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 drink it. Um, and that's all, always have a bottle of water with you and refill it, and then um, stick to good, healthy skincare regimen because that, more importantly is the thing that gets confused a lot. Well, thank you so much as always, Polly. Where can we go for more information? For more information or to find a location near you, you can go to keels.com. Well, thank you, Polly. It was so great chatting with you again. Have Thanks, a great Candace. Day. You too. Thank you. Bye -bye. Talk to you soon.